so coming to semiconductor ou and ecosystem so semiconductor uh, is not just uh, uh, one part of it actually okay so you you have many parts of it actually for example uh, you need to have a uh, design companies with the uh, fabrication like um, uh, uh, can you can you give us some example actually one of you like uh, which all the design companies you know which has a uh, fabrication technology with them quickly uh, samsung okay good intel okay any other company fine tsmc yeah okay tsmc is only fab actually they don't uh, have a design okay what about the design companies uh, fabless basically that is they don't have foundries they they only do designs intel sir yeah intel is with fab actually without fab without foundry so many of you use the smartphones where the processor comes from the company called qualcomm mediatek okay the snapdragon or the mtk uh, chipsets these are the companies uh, which is like a fabless companies basically right nvidia these are all fabless companies because they they design but they don't have a foundry okay so they go to the third party so somebody told actually tsmc right tsmc is uh, uh, dedicated for fabrication okay so that's where your foundry comes into the picture so tsmc and there used to be a company called umc and then global foundries basically and there was a chartered semiconductors okay and these these uh, these people what they do is actually they kind of you know take your design and fabricate and then give it to you actually right uh, so that's so so if you see the analogy basically um, uh, like uh, you know like printo uh, you know printo basically um, uh, all this um, Uh, designing the brochures and uh, designing your t-shirts and then printing and everything actually so printo can be kind of you know a design plus a kind of a fabrication also kind of thing right but when i take my own design to the printo they also print it and uh, give it actually so they do the fabrication so they do dual kind of thing that's what now samsung and uh, intel is also doing actually so they are letting the third party companies also come and use their foundries basically because they have uh put in lot of money to set up a foundries especially right 10 nanometer uh, so you know 5 nanometer or now 3 nanometer so they are letting others also to explore their uh, foundries basically okay so that that's uh, that's uh, these are the you know different uh, one is uh, with fab without fab and only the fab actually okay and then you have ip vendors actually any quick companies on the ip vendors it's very famous starts with a and ends with m anyone have you heard of arm arm yeah yes so arm core is used in most of the chips actually right so they are one of the one of the main ip vendors like that there are so many other ip vendors also now uh, there comes actually you know one of the important uh, uh, part of ecosystem is eda actually right so i think eda you i think uh, you will tell quickly actually which all the eda companies you know uh synopsis yes cadence yeah. yeah yeah synopsis cadence siemens you know like uh, the company i work with the company vikas work with actually so all the companies are uh, like a eda actually as they are real intent and uh, there used to be a company called magma actually acquired by synopsis so these are the main uh, you know the eda companies and then okay so the other part actually of the ecosystem which is very important is design services basically right see you have a design companies and then you have a design companies with fab without fab and the foundry and now you have a like a design services because these people are very important for the ecosystem because they provide the uh, technical resources basically right for example the companies uh, uh, who is doing doing a design like qualcomm or a mediatek or nvidia right so they they can't have more people actually they they have a limited set of uh, engineers in their team so what they do is uh, they kind of outsource to design services there are two models one is actually the resources will go to the uh, client place that is qualcomm or they have a odc actually odc is like offshore uh, development center wherein they give a uh, kind of a project and you can execute from your company actually and the third one is uh, turnkey projects basically so they take everything and they do the turnkey that is entire project actually and they execute for you 
So this is the design services. And then, then so these are all like what we uh, talked about is a chip level. Then comes the system in a design actually, right? Once uh, your VLSI chip is ready or semiconductor chip is ready, then you have to integrate other, um, and, uh, you know, other part of a systems basically. That's where system design comes into the picture. Okay, and then you have manufacturing, assembly, and packaging. Of course, software. Without software, you can't uh, uh, complete the system, right? Actually, you need a software integration. So this is this forms the ecosystem.